Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, here at Malboro High School softball field, where we have the Frontier Red Ox versus the Asthma uh, or AMSA Eagles. Uh, it's going to be a great game here today um, in the round of 16. Frontier had a pretty good season. Um, and same with the Eagles. The Eagles went 15-3 on the season. And, uh, yeah. So it's going to be a good game. Frontier's the 13th seed. And uh, AMSA Eagles are the 5 seed. So they're going to do the starting lineups as well as the national anthem. We'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television.
All right, hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Ben Roberts, Tom Albert, and it's going to be a great game tonight. Frontier is the number 13 seed, and the AMSA Eagles are uh, the four seed. Frontier is 12 and five on the season, and the Eagles are 15 and three. So two very good records and two good overall teams here in the round of 16. So. So here we go, we should be underway any minute now. Frontier, they are the away team. Um, and it's gonna be Ashley Taylor in center field leading off for the Red Hawks. But they're gonna warm up. So uh, yeah, they're gonna take a quick break and so will we, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Alright, hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here. Again, it's going to be Ashley Taylor up to bat. And on the mound is number 13, uh, Ava McLeod. That's going to be a grounder over to the shortstop. She's going to bobble it and Taylor will reach first base. So she'll get on one pitch and one hit. Nice job by Ashley Taylor. Good way to get the Hawks started here. Now batting for the Red Hawks. Number 12, the catcher, Lou Fifield. 
So a runner on first base, and it's going to be Delaney Fifield up to bat now. And I'll be inside for a ball. 1 and 0 count for Fifield. Grounder, bunt to third base. She'll throw it over to second and in time. So. Fielder's choice there. Second base, and that will bring up number 10, Skylar Steele. See if uh, Skylar can get a hit here. Deep fly ball right field, and they're going to make the catch, so that'll be out number two. Out of right field there, and two outs. That's going to bring up number nine, Liv Michon. She's in the left, left field today. See if the, she can get things rolling. Just a runner on first base. It's now Delaney Fight Field. Over at first. Now will be outside for a ball. One and zero count. Swing and a miss. So that's actually it's going to be an 0-2 count. Sean's got to swing at anything close and protect the plate. Comes a pitch, swing and a miss. So Ava McLeod gets out of that one. One hit though from Ashley Taylor, and we will go to the bottom of the first inning. Uh, Frontier does not score a run. We'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts. That one's in there for a strike. It is, it's Reina Wanze, or Wanze on the mound for the Red Hawks. That's in there for a strike as well. So 0-2 count for Maddie Glenn. She's over at second base for the Eagles. Here comes the pitch from Wanze. And I'll be in the dirt. One and two count. Uh, 
And that one will be high and outside. That'll even up two and two. Oh. Eagles bench making some noise. Here comes the pitch. Grounder over to shortstop. Steele field it, throws it over to first for out number one. Nice play by Skyler Steele. And so that was a hard hit ball over there. Nice play. And that will bring up the shortstop for the Eagles, Brooke Ladotti. See if she can get things started here for the Eagles. High and outside for a ball. One and no count for Brooke. Here comes a pitch from Reyna. In there for a strike, evens it up now one and one. And that will be in there for a strike, one and two. One and two count for Brooke Ladotti. Here comes the pitch. Grounder. Hakaski's going to have to run in. And she'll be safe. So she beats the throw. As she runs, the Brooke Ladotti runs that one out. And that will bring up the number three hitter, Ava McLeod. And she's on the mound for the Eagles. So one out here, runner on first. And that'll be ball one. One and no count here for McLeod. Here comes the pitch. Hard hit ball, center field. And she'll make the grab. Nice catch by Ashley Taylor in center field. She was going back, back, back. And that'll be out number two for the Red Hawks. And that'll bring up number 11, Abby Ashman. She's over at third base for uh, the Eagles. So two outs, for, still runner on first. Hard at ball, deep left field, going back, 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 and that's a home run. <laughs> Is that by Abby Ashman, and that'll be a two run home run. <laughs> and she's mugged at the plate. And still two outs here though, so I'll bring up number 17, Kathleen Galvin, the center fielder. So the Eagles jump up two to nothing from that home run. Here comes the pitch from Reyna. That'll be ball outside. One. That'll be a strike, actually. Own one. Here comes the pitch. Hard hit ball. Left field. Mashawn will make the catch. So, nice catch by Liv Mashawn out in left field. And that will end the, the first inning. But the Eagles will get two runs. We'll go to the top of the second where the Frontier Red Hawks look to get those back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back.
All right, hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here at the Marlboro High School field, in the softball field. Here in the top of the second inning, uh, two to nothing, it is for the Eagles. And it's gonna be Raina Wanzi. Fouled back, and that'll be strike number one. 0-1, count for Reyna. And again, it is uh, Ava McLeod on the mound for the Eagles. Good eye there by Reyna. That'll even up the count one and one. Here comes the pitch, and yes, she did. So strike number two, one and two. And that will be strike three. She didn't like the call. And that will bring up Number 15, the first baseman, Sophia. Number fif uh, 15, Sophia Pinardi. See if Sophia Pinardi can get things rolling here for the Red Hawks. Here comes a pitch. Hard hit ball, and almost caught by the uh, first baseman. Down the, uh, it went foul. So, 0 1 count here for Penardi. Here comes the pitch from McLeod. And outside, good eye there by Sophia. That'll make it 1 and 1. Cloud will deliver inside. Sophia gets just out of the way from that one. Two and one count. Here comes the pitch. Did she go? No, she didn't. Three and one. Here comes a payoff pitch. Grounder over to the sh shortstop, throws it over to first, and in time for the out. Nice play by the shortstop there. That was uh, Brooke Ladotti. And I'll bring up Gabby Adams. She's over at second base for the Red Hawks, and uh, one of two of Frontier's seniors. So two outs here in the bottom of the second, or the top of the second, excuse me. Still two to nothing, Eagles on top. Frontier needs to get those two back. And that will be low for a ball, two and zero oh count. Here comes the pitch. High for ball number three. So Adams could draw a walk here. And get a runner on with two. Outs. Shows bunt. Pulls it back, but called strike. So three and one. Nice pitch from McLeod there. Still has a pitch to give. Swing and a miss. So that'll make it a 3-2 full count. Base hit or ball four here. Still got to swing at anything close. 
Here comes the pitch. And foul tip, caught by the catcher. So, strikeout there. And that'll be strikeout number three for McLeod. We'll go to the bottom of the second inning. Where's the uh, Asthma, or AMSA Eagles on top? Two to nothing over the Frontier Red Ox. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here at the Malboro High School softball field. And the batter will be uh, Quill uh, Yost. And I'll be outside for ball two, two and no count. Here comes the pitch. And in the dirt, ball three. Three and oh. So, Will will try to draw a walk here. It's gotta... Here comes the pitch from Reyna. In there for a strike, three and one. Nice pitch from Reyna. She's gotta work all the way back here. Comes the pitch. High for ball four. She'll withdraw a walk. And that will bring up number 29, Sophia Hamill, the catcher for the Eagles. Here comes the pitch from Reyna. And in the dirt, we'll get past her fight field and. Will will get a steal. One and L. Count here for uh, Hamill. The Eagles bench making a lot of noise. And now we'll get past Fife Field and uh, Yost will be at third base now. And we're gonna have a quick mound visit by Coach Dean. And we'll, they're gonna take a quick break and so will we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here. Here comes the pitch, fouled back. So that will make the count two and one. Good hitters count here. Hopefully Frontier can get the play at the plate. 
comes the pitch. And that will be in the dirt. Ball three. Three and one. Here comes the pitch. And that hits her. And that will be, so that, that hits her helmet there. So runners on first and third, that'll bring up Grace Galvin, the right fielder. Here comes the pitch from Reyna in the dirt. Ball one. And Fightfield throws down to third. Almost gets her. And here comes the pitch from Reyna. Oh. Oh, he almost got her. Akoski almost got her at third. I think she had her. One and one count, though. When it could take off here. Here comes the pitch. In the dirt, runner does take off to second. So Hamill will steal second, and that'll make it a 2-1 count with runners on second and third. Here comes the pitch in the dirt. Ball three, good stop by Fightfield. Here comes the pitch from Reyna. In there for a strike. Nice pitch from Wanzi. 3-2 full count now. Base hitter ball, ball four here for Grace Galvin. In the dirt, and that'll be ball four. And so, a, two walks and a hit by pitch, and that will bring up Michaela Ladotti, the left fielder for the Eagles, with the bases loaded and no outs. So Frontier in tr little trouble here. In there for a strike, nice pitch from Wanzi. Oh and one. Here comes the pitch. Grounder gets past the pitcher. Steele will field and throw it over to first. So that'll be in time for an out, but a run does score. So an RBI uh, sacrifice for Michaela Dotti. That'll make the lead three to nothing here. And that will be in the dirt. Runner takes off to home, and she'll slide in there safely. That was Sophia Hamill. And that will make it four to nothing. Top of the order. Pop fly, right field. And Campbell will make the catch, and what? Oh my gosh. That's a horrible call by the umpire right there. <sighs> oh my gosh. Fifield got her there, but.
Dotty. Five to nothing here. With two outs now. And I'll bring up Brooke Ladotti. One and no count. <sighs> Rana delivers. Hard at ball, line drive into center field and bounces around and a long single there for Brooke Ladotti. So, with two outs, that will bring up number 13, Ava McLeod. She's on the mound for the Eagles. Here comes the pitch in the dirt. She'll take off and that will not be in time. So nice steal there by Brooke Ladani. Puts a runner in scoring position. Here comes the pitch. Grounder over to shortstop. Steele will field it, throws it over to first and gets past Penardi. And it will not be in time. Now they could get a runner. Uh, unlucky. So an overthrow, and that will make second and third. Now batting for the Eagles, number 11, the third baseman, Abby Asman. And that will bring up Abby Asman. And she, her last at bat, she had a two run home run, which made the lead for uh, the Eagles. And I'll be outside. A one count, that one's in there for a strike. Here comes the pitch from Wanzi. Inside, one and one. Here comes the pitch. And that will be outside. Two and one. Here comes the pitch. Grounder, shortstop. Steele throws it over to first. And that one gets past Penardi. So another run will score. And they'll make. Play at third. So that run does score though. And that'll make it seven to nothing. The Eagles lead the Red Hawks. Seven, zero. So that will end the second inning. The score is seven to nothing. Frontier needs to get the gets the bats going in the top of the third. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here at the Marlboro High School softball field. Where the score after two innings is seven to nothing. The AMSA Eagles lead the Frontier Red Hawks. So we'll go to the top of the third inning where it is senior uh, Haley Koski 
leading off for the Red Hawks. On deck is Whitney Campbell, and waiting is Ashley Taylor. Number seven, the third baseman, Haley Petoskey. Here comes the pitch from McLeod. High and outside for ball one, one and oh. One and oh count. McLeod will deliver. And that one's in there for a strike. Down the middle, one and one. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two. Now she's got to protect and swing at anything close. Here comes the pitch. And outside, good eye there by Hakoski. That uh, will make it two and two. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. And that'll be strikeout number four for McLeod. And that'll bring up number two, Whitney Campbell. See if she can get things rolling here with one out here. Here comes a pitch from McLeod. And that one will be in there for a strike. Own one. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. O2 count. Campbell's got to protect and swing at anything close. And that one, you got to leave for the birds. One and two. Here comes the pitch from McLeod. And strike three called looking. And that will bring up Ashley Taylor. Number six, the center fielder, Ashley Taylor. Ashley Taylor had a leadoff hit in the first inning and got things rolling, but has the only hit for the Hawks right now. See if she can do that again here. And that will be fouled back. All one count. Here comes the pitch. And that'll be low for a ball. One and one. McLeod will deliver. And in there for a strike. One and two. Good pitcher's count. Because you have a have a pitch or two to give. Grounder down the third baseline. She'll field it, throws it over to first. And in time to end the top of the third inning, we'll go to the bottom of the third with a score seven to nothing. Eagles on top of the Frontier Red Hawks. We'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts. We'd like to quickly thank our sponsors, Albert Hearing Services. They're located at 33 Adele Street in Greenfield, Massachusetts. Give my mom and her office a call at 413-774-0100. Again, 413-774-0100 or visit alberthearing.com. As well as Gilmore Farrell, Gilmore Farrell Insurance. They specialize in commercial and personal insurance. As well as Sugarloaf Clips. Kim's been cutting my hair personally since I was two. So you can go give Kim and Rachel a visit in South Deerfield, as well as Holiday Pizza. Nice play, Barry. Hakoski. Nice snag, actually. Throws it over to first for out number one, and that was Kathleen Galvin. Up next to the Eagles. Number seven, the first baseman, Will Yost. And that will bring up Gwil Yost, the first baseman. Her last at bat, she walked and stole base. She led the second inning off for the Eagles. 1-0 and count. Here comes the pitch. Grounder over to shortstop. Steele will throw it over to first and in time. Nice play by Skylar Steele. Over to Sophia Pinardi. Two up, two down. And that will bring up number 29, Sophia Hamill, the catcher. Up next for the Eagles, number 29, the catcher, Sophia Hamill. And her last at bat, she was hit by pitch and stole three bases. So here comes the pitch. And that will be just high. One and no count. Comes the pitch, and that will be just outside. Two and zero count. Eagles bench making lots of noise. Grounder, Hakoski will field it. Throws it over to first, and in time. Three up, three down, and that will do the. Third inning, seven to nothing. Eagles lead over Frontier. We'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts. And the batter is Delaney Lou Fifield. And that one is fouled down the third baseline. Fifield, her last at bat, uh, had a fielder's choice. It was thrown over to second base. I think, I believe she hit it to shortstop. Hard at ball, and that will drop in there for a single. 
Nice hit by Delaney Fifield there. And that will bring up number 10, Scatler Steele. And she flew out to right field in her last at bat. She had 100 hits this season. And that'll be a line drive over to second base. Just caught. Nice catch by Maddie Glenn. And that'll bring up number nine, Liv Michon. She's out in left field tonight, her last at bat. She struck out swinging. And she'll lay off that one. She did not go. One and no count. Frontier's bench making some noise. Grounder back to the pitcher, throws it over to first. And that will move Fightfield over to second. <laughs> Fightfield dancing with the uh, <laughs> the first baseman there. And that will bring up number 21, Raina Wanzi. Next for the Red Hawks, number 21, the pitcher, Raina Wanzi. Her last at bat, she struck out looking. Question the call. Two outs, runner on second. McLeod will deliver. Grounder over to third base, throws it over to first, and in time. So. That'll end the top of the fourth inning. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth still. Seven to nothing. Eagles on top of the Red Hawks. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts. And we'd like to quickly thank our sponsors again. Albert Hearing Services, they're located at 33 Dell Street in Greenfield, Massachusetts. You can give my mom and her office a call at 413-774-0100. Again, 413-774-0100. Or visit alberthearing.com. We're also sponsored by Gilmore Farrell Insurance. They specialize in commercial and personal insurance, as well as Sugarloaf Clips. They're located in South Deerfield. Uh, you can give Kim a visit. She's been cutting my hair since I was two years old, and she does an excellent job, as well as uh, her and Rachel there. They are a dynamic duo, as well as Holiday Pizza. They're located in South Deerfield and have excellent pizzas. So we will, yeah, we can't do this without our sponsors. So, yeah. And the batter will be... Uh, Grace Galvin, the right fielder, her last at bat, she walked and scored a run. That'll be outside for ball number one, one and oh. Here comes the pinch. In there for a strike, evens it up, one and one. Reyna delivers, swing and a miss, one and two. Nice pitch from Reyna.
One and two count here for Grace Galvin. Wanze delivers. And that'll be low and get past fight field there, but evens it up. Two and two. Here comes the pitch from Reyna. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Nice pitch. That will bring up number 21, Mikhail Ladati, the left fielder for the Eagles. Her last at bat, she had a uh, sacrifice to shortstop. She grounded out to shortstop, but got an RBI, so... They'll be in there for a strike. 0 1 count. Wanzi delivers. And that'll be high and outside, and that'll even it up. 1 and 1. Here comes the pitch. High for ball two. 2 and 1. A good hitter's count here. And here comes the pitch. Fouled back into the screen. So that will even it up two and two. One out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. See if Reyna can get back to back strikeouts here. Or we'll also see if Michaela can get a hit. And that will be fouled back and over the net. Still two and two. Here comes the pitch. And in the dirt. Three, two, full count. So a base hit or ball four here is what uh, Michaela Dotti is looking for. And Eagles bench is making a lot of noise. And that will be ball four. So that will bring up top of the order, Maddie Glenn, for the, Eagles. the second baseman for the Eagles. And that will put Michaela Dotty over at first base with one out. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Nice pitch from Reyna Wanzi. That was got her to chase the outside. Fastball. 0-1 is the count for Glenn. Wanzi delivers. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Another great pitch. O2 is the count. Here comes the pitch. And that will go foul. Nice job by Whitefield. Not touching the ball while it was still in fair, ter fair territory. Still 0-2. Here comes the pitch. Grounder gets up the middle. And that'll be a base hit for Matty Glenn. Now batting for the Eagles, number one, the shortstop, Brooke Ladotti. And that will bring up Brooke Ladotti, the shortstop for the Eagles. Her last at bat, she had a liner to center field and stole a base, line drive. Here comes the pitch from Monzi. Grounder over to third base. Sakoski will step on third and get the lead runner. Nice play 
a heads up play there by Hakoski. So that with two outs and runners on first and second, that will bring up Abby or Ava McLeod, the pitcher. Her last at bat, she uh, reached first base from an error, an overthrow to the from the shortstop. And before that, she flew out to center field. 1-0 is the count. Grounder. And that will get past Steele. Play comes to home. Fight field throws it over to third. And that is unfortunate as two runs will score from just some overthrows. And that will make it 9 to nothing. So a hit to left field there, uh, score two. And that'll, be, that'll bring up number 11, Abby Ashman, the third baseman for the Red Hawks with a runner on third. And that one's fouled back. That one's into the woods. Not quite lost though, like Frontier's baseball field. All one is the count. Here with two outs. Here comes the pitch. And just outside, 0-1. One. one and one is the count. Two outs here. Bottom of the fourth. Wanze delivers. High and outside, ball number two. Abby Ashman's last at bat, she had a fielder's choice, the third base, but before that she had a two run home run, so she's one for two on the night. And that will be outside for ball three, three and one. And the Eagles bench making noise. Hard at fly ball. Akoski will make the catch for out number three. And we will go to the top of the fifth inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television 9-0. to zero. Frontier needs to get the bats rolling. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts. Scores nine to nothing in the top of the fifth inning. Hard hit ball by Sophia Pinardi. That is out of here. Woo! 
Home run! Oh no, ground row double. Damn. Well, ground row double. <laughs> uh, poor Sophia Bernardi deleted off. Hello and welcome. What is it? So Sophia Melnick will pinch run for Sophia Pinardi as from a ground row double. And Melnick, oh no. We'll get her. Catch her stealing. That is unfortunate for the Red Hawks. One and no is the count as Melnick gets picked off there. Two and no is the count. See if Gabby, uh, Gabby Adams can get things rolling again here for the Red Hawks. Grounder back to the pitcher. Adams will take off the first and in time. So nice play there by. Ava McLeod over to um, Joel, Joel La Yost. That'll bring up Haley Akoski. She struck out swinging her last at bat. But she can have fun with two here. Oh, one is the count. And that will be strike number two, oh two is the count. Oh two. Hard hit ball. And oh. Nice catch by the right fielder. So that'll be three up. Or uh, three outs. We'll go to the bottom of the fifth inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here. We'd like to really quickly thank our sponsors, Albert Hearing Services, Gilmore Farrell Insurance, uh, Holiday Pizza, and Sugarloaf Clips. The score is 9 to nothing. Frontier did have a chance to score from a ground rule double from Penardi, but um, Melnick was unfortunately picked off. Um, anyways, we will go to the bottom of the fifth, and that will bring up Kathleen Galvin, the center fielder. Hard at ball. Gets in there for a hit in the left field. Nice line drive in the left field. And that will bring up that will bring up number seven, Gwil Yost. She's over at first base. And she grounded out to the shortstop, her last at bat. And she's walked and stolen a base. So one and oh is the count. Here comes the pitch. In there for a strike, one and one. That evens it out. Here comes the pitch. Fly ball in the shallow right field. And that will drop in there for a single. And Kathleen takes off to third, so. Nice single there by Gwil Yost. That was like a bloop single into right. Took a bad bounce, bounce on Campbell there. That will bring up number 29, Sophia Hamill. She's catching. She was hit by pitch, stole three bases, and her last at bat, she grounded out to third base. One and zero is the count. In there for a strike. One and one. Nice pitch, there by Wanzi. Here comes the pitch for Hamill, and foul tip. One and two is the count. on second and third. And that'll be outside for a ball, too. Evens it up, two and two. Base hit could score two. No outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Fly ball out of play. Still two and two. for Sophie Hamill. Here comes the pitch from Reyna. Fly ball, infield fly. Steele will make the catch. Nice job by Skylar Steele for out number one. And that will bring up Number three, Grace Galvin. She's out in right field, and she's walked and struck out. So, 0 for 1 in the game. Shows bunt, and can't get it down. That one gets fouled and out of play. So, 0 and 1 is the count. Here comes the pitch. In there for strike number two. Nice pitch from Reyna. 
0-2 is the count for Grace Galvin. Here comes the pitch. And the runner takes off to home. And that will score a run. So just pick a bad bounce. I'll make it one and two. As uh, Kathleen Galvin scores a run there. One and two is the count. Pop up, hits the net. Coming our way almost. Thank, thank you for that net. Um, still one and two. Runner on third. It's uh, Gwil Yost right third. Here comes the pitch from Wanzi. High and outside. Ball two. Evens it up. Two and two. Here comes the pitch. And fouled and out of play. Still two and two. Here comes the pitch. Oh, and that will. Be a balk, so that is unfortunate. So that scores a run, and that'll make it 11 to nothing. So that will bring up Michaela Dotty. Her last at bat, she walked, and she scored an RBI. Steal will be safe. Nice steal by, there by Grace Galvin. So just one out here, and if, I believe, if the Eagles here get one more run, it will be a mercy roll. That's a little outside, one and one. Here comes the pitch, shows bunt, she'll bunt it. And Hakoski will take it, no throw. Oh, she's, oh my gosh. That's another blown call there by the umpire. In my eyes, Hakoski had the tag. They're gonna take a quick uh, mound visit. They're going to take a quick break. So will you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here. 11 to nothing. High for a ball. Runners on first and third. One out here. And that, if Grace, or if Sophia Hamill scores, it will be actually Hamill. That will be. <laughs> so 
So it's actually Maddie Glenn is the batter. And it is Grace Galvin over at third. Swing and a miss. Strike two, nice pitch. One and two is the count. Here comes the pitch from Reyna. Hard at ball, right field. And Campbell will make the play. And the runner didn't tag up at third. So there's still life for Frontier. Campbell will make the catch and with two outs, Frontier could have a chance to get the bats going again. The, here comes the pitch. In there for a strike. Nice pitch from Reyna. 0-1. Batter is Brooke Ladotti. Here comes the pitch. High and outside. Evens it up now, 1-1. One Dottie had a, was a one for three on the night. Grounder over to second base. Nice play by Gabby Adams. Slips it over to first. And there's still life for the Frontier Red Ox. And uh, the Eagles will score two runs. So 11 to zero. Frontier will get, hopefully can get the bats rolling in the sixth inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here in the Marlboro softball field. And it is 11 to nothing. Hopefully Frontier can get rid of that shutout. And it'll be Whitney Campo, Ashley Taylor, and Delaney Fightfield. Good do it. Hopefully we can get the bats rolling here. Here comes the pitch. And that will be in there for a strike. Oh and two. And that will be low and outside for a ball. They side there by Whitney. One and two. And inside, evens it up two and two now. Here comes the pitch, and inside again, Campbell just gets out of the way there. Oh, three, two, full count. 
Base hitter ball four here is what Campbell is looking for. Fly ball and out of play. Job staying alive. Still 3 2. Good battle here. Six pitch at bat. Here comes the pitch. Grounder. Well, that, uh, I lost for words there. Just the uh, shortstop was unable to make the throw over to first. So hard hit ball by Whitney Campbell. And that'll be a hit. Lead off it. And that'll bring up Ashley Taylor. She's one for two on the night. In the first inning, she had a hit to the shortstop. Here comes the pitch. And that will be in there for a strike. A little inside. All in one is the count. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Got her to chase in the outside low pitch. 0 and 2 is the count. So now she's got to protect at anything close. Here comes the pitch. And fouled back. Still 0 and 2. Here comes the pitch. Fly ball. Catcher will be under and she'll make the catch. And that will bring up Delaney Fifield. That was a nice catch there by Sophia Hamill. Still runner on first. Just one out now. And Fifield calls time. Good choice there. Here comes the pitch. And down the third baseline. Hard hit ball, but goes foul. 0 and 1 is the count. Here comes the pitch. Down the third baseline. She'll bobble it. And tries to throw it over first, not in time. So nice hit there by Delaney Lou Fightfield. And with two outs, runners on first and second. That'll bring up Skylar Steele. Her last at bat, she had a line drive to the second baseman and she caught it. So. Over two, still looking for her first hit here. And that one, she gets a hold of it, hits the net. 0 and 1 is the count. Frontier's bench making some noise now. Here comes the pitch. High and outside. Nice side there. Nice guy to steal. One and one is the count. McLeod de delivers. She'll check on the runner. Check some fight field at first. Not in time. They'll make it two and one. Good hitters count here. McLeod delivers. Hard hit ball into left field. She'll make the catch. And that is unfortunate. That was a hard hit ball to left field. And a nice catch by Michaela Ladotti. And that will bring up Liv Michon. 
Here with two outs, runners on first and second. John's still looking for her first hit. And that one she swings. So. <laughs> oh and one. Here comes the pitch. Fly ball. Caught by the first baseman. So Frontier gets some hits, but no damage done. We'll go to the bottom of the sixth inning. You're watching score 11 to nothing. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Howler, Ben Roberts here. In the bottom of the sixth inning, it is 11 to nothing. Eagles lead Frontier Red Ox. And it'll be Ashley Taylor on the mound. Hard hit ball foul. All in one is the count. Hard hit ball. Left field, and that is nice catch by Liv Mashan. Whew. Thought that one was gone. Deep fly ball. So that will bring up. Abby Ashman, third baseman. Fly ball, and Steele will make the catch. So, two outs here, and that will bring up uh, Kathleen Galvin. Two up, two down, and inside for ball number one, one and out. Here comes the pitch. Hard hit ball, deep left field, and Mashan gets under it, and she'll make the catch for out number three. So, 
we will go to the bottom or the top of the seventh inning. You're watching the score is 11 to nothing. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television, but we will quickly thank our sponsors, Albert Hearing Services. They're located in 33 Adele Street in Greenfield, Massachusetts. You can give my mom and her office a call at 413-774-0100. Again, 413-774-0100. Or visit alberthearing.com, as well as Gilmore Farrow Insurance. They specialize in personal and commercial insur insurance, as well as Sugarloaf Clips. Uh, you can give Kim and Rachel a visit. They're located in South Deerfield. Um, Kim's been cutting my hair personally since I was two years old, and still to this day, she still cuts my hair. So, does an excellent job. And as well as Holiday Pizza. They're located in South Deerfield, and they serve up pizza really well. So, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here at the Marlboro High School softball field. That one's in there for a strike. The batter is number 21, Raina Wanzi. She, her last at bat, she grounded out to the third baseman. Grounder over to sec, uh, shortstop. Throws it over to first and in time. The Frontier down to their last two lives. Panardi, uh, Sophia Panardi is up to bat now. Uh, she's over at first base. In her last at bat, she had a ground rule double, which bounced and went over the fence or under. It was a hard hit ball to left center field. And that will be in the dirt for ball number one. Here comes a pitch from McLeod. Two and zero is the count. Here comes the pitch from McLeod. In there for a strike. Now Penardi seeing it. Two and one is the count. Two and one good hitters count here. Here comes the pitch. Inside. Almost hit Penardi there. Three and one. Here comes the pitch. Inside, ball four. Penardi will t take her base. And that will bring up Gabby Adams. Number four, the second base, Gabby. And Her last at bat, she grounded out to the pitcher. Already at first. See if she can get things rolling here for the Hawks. Grounder gets past the second baseman. And a nice hit there for Gabby Adams. Way to be. So that will bring up Haley Okoski. Her last at bat, she had a fly. She flew out to the right field. Right fielder. It's a deep fly ball. Runners on first and second. Here comes the pitch. And that will be high for a ball. Good eye by Haley there. 1-0 and is the count. 
Here comes the pitch. In the dirt, ball two. And runners will hold up. 2-0 is the count. And this will be the first mound visit for uh, the Eagles coach. So they're going to take a quick break. So will we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts. 2-0 is the count. Grounder over to second base. And that'll be a fielder's choice. Over to second base. So two outs and the, run, and the batter will be Whitney Campbell. Her last at bat, she had a hit to the shortstop. And it was a hard hit ball that shortstop wasn't able to actually even attempt to throw it over. So this is it for the Hawks. I'll be in there for a strike. Own one is the count. McLeod delivers. Did she go? Pickoff attempt. And she got her. They got the pickoff attempt. And uh, that'll do it. So, pick Koski gets picked off there at first. So the final score is 11 to nothing. Uh, the AMSA Eagles win. So they'll, uh, we'll... And the Eagles will move on and face the next round. That'll do it for our spring sports coverage. And uh, yeah, we will. Uh, we'd like to thank everyone for watching. Um, and uh, we will see you guys in the fall, as well as maybe some events this summer. Um, Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, uh, for the final time, 11 to nothing. Is the score, and we'd like to thank our sponsors, Albert Hearing Services. They're located at 33 Dell Street in Greenfield, Massachusetts. You can give my mom a call at 413-774-0100. Again, 413-774-0100. Or visit alberthearing.com. As well as Gilmore Farrell Insurance. They specialize in commercial and personal insurance. And Sugarloaf Clips. They're located in South Deerfield. You can give... Kim and Rachel a visit. Uh, they do a very nice job over there. Kim's been cutting my hair since she was, since I was two. And holiday pizza of FCAT Sports. And for the final time, Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you and goodbye.